How do you deal with conflicts on your worship team? You know, that's a book in itself, isn't it, really? I mean, it's really the essence of life is relationships, isn't it? And so a worship team is made up of all these different personalities and temperaments, different relationship dynamics, egos, creative people. Man, it's, it's a recipe for conflict, isn't it? So, you know, I'm just trying to reflect back over the years of how I, things that have helped me. Uh, I think becoming a student of temperaments, of relationships, there's a lot of good books out there on personality types. Remember the sanguine, choleric, melancholy, phlegmatic. Um, there's a thing called the DISC test, D-I-S-C. Um, Myers-Briggs test, that's a personality type test. I think it would be helpful to do something like that with your worship team in kind of a fun way, like maybe have everybody read through one of these books. But you as the leader, you know, at least once or twice a year, pick up a book on, you know, how to deal with difficult people or, um, you know, leadership. There's a lot of good leadership books out there that you can at least peruse through and pick up insights and because you really are a manager. If you're a worship leader, you know, you, you really have to, the church needs leaders. We don't need more guitar players, you know. We really need leaders, people that are willing to step up and do the hard work of, you know, of working through these things with the spirit of grace, with the spirit, with the spirit of the Lord. So, depending upon your personality, see, you need to discover your own style. You may be choleric, and you may be just like crushing people in your wake, or you may be, too melancholy where everything's just kind of like heavy and serious and or you may be a sanguine that it's like totally you're you're totally manic and you're off in your own world but and you're oblivious to all this stuff that's going on in your worship team so i just think that's a good starting point is to do something together go through a book a personality temperament type book uh, keep it simple with your worship team and then Another thing would be, you know, sometimes I'll get, well, my bass player, he just never wants to practice, or my drummer won't use a metronome, or things like that. Um, you know, you, you may bring in your worship pastor for a season and have a few meetings to say, you know, may, maybe it's like a, a weekend retreat or just a one or two night um, vision planning meeting for the next year and say, okay, guys, let's, let's, let's take stock of of what we're doing right, what we feel good about, and now let's let's cast a vision for this next year and where would we like to grow? Okay, we want to grow in the things of the spirit and we also want to grow in our in the practical ways that we that we function as a worship team. So that means each one of us needs to sort of make a commitment to step it up a little bit. And are are we all willing to do that? Is everybody willing to kind of step it up? Maybe you create like a, a simple little contract, you know, like almost a contract with yourself and with the team where you say, you know, guys, this year, let's all step it up. Um, First Chronicles, I think 25, it says, all of them were trained and skilled in music for the Lord. I love that scripture. So you might put that at the top of the, of this little playful contract, not playful, but you don't want to make it too heavy and too serious maybe, but something that says, guys, I think we all need to step it up, man. I'm going to take some vocal lessons this year and so and so, blah blah blah. We, or maybe you watch one of those, uh, like the the worship band workshop DVDs, and you get somebody like me or Carl or Ben Gal. You know, they end up saying the same thing to your worship team that maybe you've been trying to say for years. But sometimes when you hear when your worship team hears me say it or somebody from the outside, sometimes they go, "Oh yeah, that's a good idea. We should do that." It's just human nature. So maybe, you know, watch some of those videos and say, hey, let's, let's make a, a list of goals of areas that we personally want to step up. And as a team, things that we want to do to kind of step up a little bit. One would be working with a metronome. Are we all willing to work with a metronome you get, or a drum machine? You guys cool with that? And Anyway, that's just one of many potential conflicts. Um, I think sharing with your pastor or someone in your church, if there's a counselor, a licensed counselor, somebody who has experience dealing with personality types, and uh, leadership, managerial situations, humble yourself. Be willing to go to them and say, man, I need some help. I'm having a hard time with this, per- this person or this gal. Or, um. So again, it's a kind of being a lifelong student of 
how to be almost like a mini pastor. You're basically pastoring a small group of people and personalities. So um, hopefully some of this will help you get started.